Today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you about the most overpowered weapon that's ever been added to Minecraft. This is the Trident, and this is coming in the Update Aquatic. Now this is subject to change, they know it's overpowered, it will be fixed, but in the meantime, I want to show you guys how awesome this is. Now if you do enjoy today's video, and you're enjoying the Update Aquatic videos, please be sure to hit that like button. I want to teach you everything about this thing, because this is next level stuff. Now, the number one question that I was asking is, how on earth do we obtain the Trident? At this current moment, there is no way of obtaining it in survival. They did announce that that will change. It says here, the Trident, it's a combat weapon. When in main hand, 1.1 attack speed, 9 attack damage. Now this thing, well, let's just say I've had so much fun messing around with it. This will do damage to literally every single mob in Minecraft, if I can show you on a squid. As you guys can see there, if you hit a squid, it's going to ink. Now this thing gets even more powerful. Right now it's pretty strong, but like any melee weapon or any weapon in Minecraft, when you introduce enchantments, this thing becomes even stronger. This thing also can drag you through the water and out of the water like a dolphin at high speeds. So the first thing that I want to tell you guys is the four new enchantments that we have available for this weapon is we have Impaling, we have Riptide, we have Loyalty, and we have Channeling. I've kind of ordered these in what I think is the best order. Impaling is fun, kind of reminds me of like sharpness for this weapon. Riptide, well, you'll get, we'll get into that. Loyalty basically makes it like a boomerang and channeling. Well, this is going to be really exciting for survival players. So you can enchant this like any other weapon. If I put this inside of here, you can obtain other enchantments. So you can see here we have Unbreaking. It does give you access to previous enchantments. I'm guessing it's going to be like Unbreaking. It's going to be things like Mending. It's also got Impaling 2 and Impaling 1. Now, this is also set to change as well because if I put this inside the Anvil, the Trident, you can, of course, put Unbreaking on it. You can put Mending on it, but you can also put Sharpness on it. Now, we know Sharpness is incredibly strong, but not only is Sharpness incredibly strong in Minecraft, these new enchantments are incredibly strong as well. So, combining Sharpness with all of these, it's, it's literally like the God's tool in the game itself. So, this thing does work underwater, of course. You may notice a bug there, by the way, where mobs just spawn within the kelp itself. Um, and it also works as a normal melee weapon. So if I was to, I don't, there's, oh, I'm sorry. It has to be the turtle. This is for science. It does work as an ordinary melee weapon as well. At the moment, turtles are dropping seagrass, which doesn't really make sense. So let's go through the enchantments themselves. Impaling comes in five different variations. It comes as impaling one, two, three, four, all the way up to five. Now I've kind of compared this to sharpness. I kind of class the Impaling as the Sharpness version, but for the Trident, I've also got the different Impalings on each one. So what we'll do here is, first thing is, I'll get rid of all of these. We don't need this. That's just a standard Trident. I'm kind of curious as to what you guys think it should be crafted with. Let me know in the comment section. We'll grab Impaling 1 and we'll also grab Impaling 5. This way we can do a little bit of a comparison. I'm just going to grab, I'm sorry Mr. Cows, but you're going to be a test dummy today. I'm going to grab a cow here. And do this above ground before we do anything in water. So this has impaling one. As you can see, that's one hit. I missed him. And two hits, and he's dead. Let's try this with impaling five. This is also two, which to me really didn't make sense in the terms of difference from impaling one to impaling two. You can see here the attack damage for this is nine. They're both exactly the same. So for me, it really didn't make too much sense, the impaling. But I'm guessing that's also... Something that's going to be subject to change. This is number five. Um, basically, it just sticks to the mobs from what I'm gathering. And yeah, that's that's the, basically the only difference that I noticed with this. But I'm guessing upon full release, they're going to be different in terms of damage. Because otherwise, there'd be no difference from Impaling 1 to Impaling 5. The next one here is Riptide. I haven't compared Riptide 1 to Riptide 3. Yes, there's three variations of this. Again, it doesn't say anything about this, but this is all to do with you inside the water. So, there's a witch down there. This one will literally drag you through the water. So if I just fire it in that way, this is Impaling 1, which is good, but it doesn't drag you as far across the water as, obviously, Impaling 3. And I'll show you this difference, as you guys can see there. You go further, it's faster, it's stronger. And something really cool about this, guys, is you can literally leap out of the water 
like a dolphin, and I absolutely love this. It is so cool. That has to change because there would be literally no no reason for any player to travel outside of water. And again, you can do this. So if I do this above ground, oh no, you can't. Ah, okay, so I can't do this above ground. So this one being Riptide makes sense. It's literally with the water. It makes it makes perfect sense. But if you really wanted to, you could come to here and throw yourself out like that. I love it. It's so, so fun. So this is literally the enchantment that you have to be in the ocean for. You can see it here. You can see how it works. Uh, there's a creeper there. So this also will do damage as well, but the fact that you can just get out of the water like a dolphin, I absolutely love that. So that's the second enchantment. That is Riptide. Uh, you'll notice, by the way, guys, that the Trident itself sticks out the menu. That might change as well. But you'll also notice that it's not like any other enchantment. So, for example, this enchanted book, it's glowing. We know that's enchanted. You really can't tell that this is enchanted. Again, that's going to change. This one, loyalty is probably one of my favorite. I like this a lot. The reason why, guys, is because basically the loyalty is it's like a boomerang. It will come back to you as a survival player. This will be incredibly useful. So if we compare this just to Impaling 1. Okay, so we've got Impaling 1, Loyalty, and Loyalty 3. We throw this. We're going to have to go and get it ourselves. Which is not something that you really, really want to do. Now with Loyalty, again, I don't know the differences between Loyalty 1 and Loyalty 2. So if we throw this down there, it comes back. As you can see there, like a lasso. I'm guessing the difference between Loyalty 1 and Loyalty 3 is how fast it comes back. And as you can see, that seems to be a lot faster. So let's try and count this. Okay, so we'll throw this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It took around about seven seconds. Same place, same zombie. One, two, three, four. There's the difference there. There you go. Loyalty is so much fun. I love it. It's literally like a boomerang. It's so, so fun to mess around with this one. So... Um, let's do it to a, a mob that's close. So we try loyalty. Where is it? Loyalty three is this one. We'll try it with this one. As you can see how fast it comes back. It's so good. Now forward slash game mode survival. I want to see what it's like in survival game mode. It comes back exactly the same, but the more you're throwing it, the more it's going to obviously break like any other melee weapon, which of course makes exactly perfect sense. I love it though. That's it's so, so cool. And you can see there. I just threw the trident then, and it didn't come back, because that was the uh, impaling one. So forward slash game mode, creative. Okay, so let's get to the most exciting enchantment within this game at the moment. This thing basically makes you like the god of thunder. I feel like Thor with this thing. I absolutely do. So this is called channeling. Comes in one enchantment. This to me is going to be enchantment that the only way to obtain it will be via finding it, possibly in shipwrecks and stuff. But the channeling enchantment, right, they class this, let me just read this to you if I can find it real quick. This enchantment, it says on the official page, we're not sure, but it's pretty spooky. That is literally all it says for this enchantment. Now, it took me a little bit of time on stream to figure this out, but this basically generates thunder. And basically, we'll do forward slash weather thunder. Oops, forward slash weather thunder. This enchantment comes active only in thunder. Now we're going to grab ourselves a pig. We're going to grab ourselves a villager. And we're going to grab ourselves a creeper. So when I throw this normally in thunder, it doesn't really make sense at all. But if you place down a mob that can be hit by thunder and you throw tra channeling at it, it will generate a lightning strike. This is going to be really good for survival players who want to access charged creepers. So you can do it as many times as you want. Channeling is absolutely brilliant. This is going to generate a witch, of course. That was a turtle. I didn't mean to do that. Come on, villager. There we go. We got him. So that generates a witch. So again, if I throw it naturally at anything else, it's not going to do anything at all. But that just killed That just killed him. What happens if I throw it at a chicken? No, basically it's anything that can be activated with thunder. This should die, right? Yeah, yeah, that dies. Okay, so creepers are my favorite one. So this has to be my favorite one. By far my favorite enchantment that they've added to the game. I absolutely love this. So what we're going to do now is go to forward slash. In fact, what we're going to do now is I'm going to create a trident, which literally has all these enchantments on. So this trident has the loyalty three, riptide three, impaling five, and channeling. And I thought I'd go a little bit over the top and show you guys. 
Loyalty, Riptide, Appealing, Channeling, Sharpness, Fire Aspect, and Looting. I want to kind of see how powerful this is just as a standing kind of hit. So if we place down an Ordinary Creeper and we just hit this thing, it's still a two-hit kind of thing. I wonder if it's going to be a one-hit if we do this. Nope. What about this way? Nope. All right, so there's still just going to be a two-hit, but this thing is so powerful. And now that... This is weird. <gasps> ah, I figured it out. Now that it's raining... Now that it's raining, guys, because we have Riptide on these, we can actually fly. So rain is going to be people's new favorite thing. That's a, a, a broken chunk over there. I didn't think that was going to be a thing, so we just figured out something else there. So you can literally fly through the air even though it's raining. So rain is going to be your friend. And I'm pretty sure Jeb explained this, to be honest with you. So let's go this way. I love it. It's so, so awesome. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to teach you guys about the Trident. Go and try it out. It is so much fun. Um, by the way, the last thing... Hold on. The last thing that I do want to show you guys is if we have the Elytra. Oh, yeah. If it's raining... Oh, you don't need fireworks anymore, guys. You don't need fireworks anymore. As you can see, you can literally fly as fast and as far as you want infinitely. That's got to change, surely, because there would be no need for fireworks at all. There would be no need for boosters. Everyone would just literally do this, so... That's everything that I found out. If, I, if, you, if I've missed anything at all, let me know in the comment section. Have a great day. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.